What's going on boys and girls? It's your boy Avionics back with another action figure video. Now if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing as I do put out quite a few videos throughout the month. In today's video, we are taking a look at the new Mattel Amazon exclusive fan takeover ultimate edition ultimate warrior. Wow, that's a mouthful. So yeah, this is an Amazon exclusive and he was available last year to pre-order and then within moments he was no longer available. So about a week or so ago, he became available again on Amazon for retail price, way better than what you'd find for him on eBay or Mercari. So I'm glad they made more and Amazon came through. So yeah, so here he is in the nice red. It's a different um, appearance for this fan takeover than you would normally see for the Ultimate Edition packaging. This one is primarily red with, with the white secondary color of the packaging compared to just the white Ultimate Edition boxes. So here he is in the huge window. You can see Ultimate Warrior himself and everything he comes with. Let's take a look at the side. So on the side it says Fan Takeover. And then we have a nice promo shot of the wrestler himself. Rest in peace, Ultimate Warrior. On this side, we just have the writing that says Ultimate Warrior with the fan takeover over here on this little angled part. And then barcode for anyone who is needing it. Um, but like I said, Amazon exclusive. I don't think you'll be able to find this at Target. On the back side, here we have the promo shot of the action figure. And then an actual photo of Ultimate Warrior himself. And so, fan takeover, the fans voted, the fans have spoken, we wanted WrestleMania 6 version Ultimate Warrior. So this is his appearance for WrestleMania 6. Because the, the other options were that people could vote for were Survivor Series 1990 and SummerSlam 1989. So 42% of the vote got WrestleMania 6 version Ultimate Warrior. There is a little description and some stats if you want to go ahead and pause and read. All right, so what do you say? Let's go ahead and get him out of the box. All right, so now that we have everything out of the box, let's go ahead and take a look at the accessories first. Let's take a look at the hands. So he comes with these hands out of the packaging, gripping hands. Put a mic in there, put two mics, put whatever. And then he has an extra right hand, which is a fist. Closed fist and it hinges side to side. And then his left hand, an extra left hand, same fist, close fist, and hinging side to side. And then we have a second head sculpt with no war paint, no face paint. And wow, take a look at that. This, the iconic screaming face of the Ultimate Warrior we, we've all known growing up watching. That hair sculpt looks amazing. I am not seeing any deficiencies whatsoever. And yeah, Mattel knocks it out of the park with that that uh, lifelike face sculpt and design. My goodness, look at that. The face that he comes out of the packaging, obviously, big grin and war paint all on his face. All right, the belts. So he, he does come with the World Heavyweight Championship belt. Mattel does a great job making these belts with a nice gold color and the sheen. We've got the painted globe in the middle and then we got the the pegs for it and the holes for adjustable size and fit so that's the heavyweight world championship belt and then here is his intercontinental intercontinental championship belt yellow color different different sculpts of the gold plates which is you know accurate as it can be so yeah he's got both belts all right, let's take a look at the figure himself. There is the Ultimate Warrior. Great looking head and face sculpt. Same hair, I believe. Let's see. Um, yeah, pretty much the same hair going on. But of course, the face is different. Man, it looks amazing. Amazing. I've been looking forward to this figure for a good while now. I do have an older um, Elite uh, Mattel Elite version of Ultimate Warrior. We're going to break him out and do a little comparison. But there is the chest paint, the tassels, orange, pink, orange, hot pink, and yellow. And then we have, oh, what came out? Oh, okay. So these, the tassels can peg in and out. And yeah, it looks like they articulate. We're going to look at articulation here in a little bit. Wow, that's pretty cool. 
All right, so he's got his briefs orange with the Ultimate Warrior face uh, face paint icon or logo all the way around on his buttocks. We've got the face and then we got orange. So the WrestleMania 6 version of him, he everything's primarily in orange color and there's his more tassels, orange, green, and yellow. And then the fringes, all orange with the green wrestling shoes and the war paint face logo on his shoes and then the undersoles are white with peg holes so great all right let's take a look at articulation so his head is going to go all the way around 360 look down that's as far as he can look up you can't really tilt because the hair is a hard you know flexible sculpt but he is able to kind of rock it around all right shoulders We've got that Ultimate Edition butterfly. Oh, wow, his butterfly joints are stiff. I like it, though. So. Oh, there you go. All right. It's butterfly, shoulder lateral, 360, double-jointed elbows with the pins. And so his tassels, they can peg in and out. So that's cool. And also, so depending on how you have him posed, you can actually articulate the tassels as realistic as they can be as they're you know, gravity holding them down. All right, tassel back in and it'll articulate 360 degrees like that. Both of them do. And then we have side to side hinge articulation with the gripping hands. Upper torso, it's a, got a nice ball joint going on right there for an ab crunch forward. And then back. And then we do have waist 360 rotation right there. Got him doing leg splits. His primary big joints are, are stiff at the moment, but that's good. We don't want him too loosey-goosey. Splits. Got kicking forward. Kicking back until it hits the butt. We have a thigh cut for our thigh swivel. Oh, there goes that tassel. I'll put that to the side for now. Actually, no. Let's go ahead and... So this will articulate too, just like the tassels on his upper arm let me just get this pegged back in real quick yeah so tassels spin oh, oh there we go but yeah both sides will um, articulate knees has gonna be limited because he is wearing the knee braces or the knee pads but it is a double jointed knee oh there we go double jointed knee and then we do have shin cut right there or boot cut and then so that rotates all the way around and then the feet we have Oh, but yeah, it's it's a brand new figure stiff, so it's going to be able to hinge forward and back and then has a slight bit of rocking. And then the toes articulate also. All right, so now I have both my Ultimate Warriors out. On this side, we have the Elite um, Ultimate Warrior from around 2010. And then this is obviously our new Fan Takeover Ultimate Warrior. As you can see, we have our main differences. His costume is obviously uh, different, but um, as far as sculpture goes, the hair is a totally new sculpt. Um, looks like we have the same body mold for all the body parts and the legs, except um, the flesh tone actually is more matte here. On the Ultimate Edition Fan Takeover, we have a glossier finish to his skin. And then obviously um, the double jointed elbows are a new addition along with the butterfly joints at the shoulders. And then I believe these are single, okay, those are double jointed knees. And then um, no toe articulation on the old elite version. And then the tassels don't articulate, they're just stationary. So if you have his arm like up, it's gonna be awkwardly up too. So this, Fan Takeover Ultimate Warrior is now my definitive Ultimate Warrior for my action figure collection. And here is a scale comparison clip of some other 80s and early 90s wrestlers from that same era as Ultimate Warrior. We have, this is the new Jake the Snake Roberts Elite Legends that just came out. Rest, uh, rest in peace, Razor Ramon. And then um, the cream of the crop, Macho Man, Randy Savage, and then Ted DiBiase, Million Dollar Man. And then here is a scale comparison for height purposes with the most recent 
Ultimate Edition, The Undertaker and Kane that came out like around December time. All right, so final thoughts on Mattel's new Fan Takeover Ultimate Edition Ultimate Warrior. I love this action figure. This is now going to be my new definitive Ultimate Warrior for my WWF, WWE display. Everything about this version of him just screams Ultimate from the Ultimate looking face sculpts. Uh, the, the face paint, the, the second alternate head, the articulation is obviously top notch just like any other Ultimate Edition figure from the butterfly joints to even the tassels that rotate all the way around. The fans got it right by voting for WrestleMania 6 version and he just looks great. So if anyone else has this Ultimate Edition fan takeover Ultimate Warrior, let me know down in the comments section what you think of your action figure. If you're watching, you don't have him yet, let me know down in the comments section if you're trying to plan on acquiring him through Amazon. If you guys enjoyed watching this video, please give it a like. Leave any other comments down below. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that notifications bell to be notified of future content like this. See you guys in the next video.